Hey guys, uh, back with another progress update on my Battletoads remake in Unreal Engine 4. Um, I've done heaps of work since the last video. Uh, hopefully it shows, but there's not a huge amount that's visually different. I've just added a few extra features that I think are really important to the game. Um, I'll show you the enemies first. Um, first of all, I've added gravity to the enemies, which is really quite scary when you are... Uh, when you see the enemies jumping at you, it's yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit scary. <laughs> um, before they were just pretty much floating and moving towards the player, um, just just following them. But now, although they still follow you, they can actually fall off, and um, they can also fall down from a height, as this one should when it start. All right, so I've implemented punching for the player, actually hurting the enemy, as you just saw, and a super punch after three hits in a row. Uh, it's still not perfect, there's still a lot of things I want to change about it, but it's working for now. Um, and I, I seem to be going by this model a lot in this project, but getting it working first, making sure it does what it should do at least to some degree, and then just moving on so I keep adding things to the game. Um, the enemy can also attack the player, like that, and after three hits, hits a player back and the player blinks and then gets back up again. Um, the pig, or the, the enemies also wait for a player to become active before they start moving. You can see here he's just sort of standing there waiting for me. Um, yeah, and, and again, as you saw before, the player, the, um, the pig can be hit off the screen if he's super punched. Which is incredibly satisfying and took way longer than I wanted to get working. Um, the animations are still not all implemented. In fact, there's hardly any of them implemented still. But... Um, it's starting to look better. I, I think the run animation will, will look nice once that's working and um, and jumping as well and moving up and down the platform instead of just standing there looking like a looking like an idiot. The total actually do things. All right. So the, the next thing that I want to mention is the edge of the screen. Um, I can't move off the left edge of the screen anymore. I have these objects which are not invisible at the moment, but they will be eventually. Um, you can see here on the left, I can't move past this box. Um, that's just because before, you, you could actually move off the screen, which was a bit silly. Um, you can't move up to the right edge of the screen if there's no enemies on the screen, because the camera will follow you. But, uh, when you're on the bike, you can. Um, now, the bike is incredibly fast, so I want to explain a few things about it before I actually get on. Um, the uh, Again, the speed isn't perfect yet, I need to still adjust that. I've been working on a few performance issues with the game. Um, after I figured out what, what was causing a game to slow down, I, um, I noticed that everything goes really fast now, so um, I'm happy that I, I got those issues sorted out. Um, anyway, the bike. So yeah, you can move all the way up to the left or the right edge of the screen now while on the bike. The camera doesn't just follow you straight, like it doesn't center on the bike all the time like it used to. Um, hitting a death wall's work. I mentioned that last time, but I'll, I'll show you that this time around. Um, also, I've implemented checkpoints. So, there are checkpoints throughout the level, and when you hit them, if you're on the bike, uh, it saves the location of the checkpoint. And then, later on, when you die, it'll reset you to the last checkpoint that you hit. Uh, I've also just finished implementing the end of the level checkpoint, which, when you hit it, it pauses the game, plays music, waits for a few seconds, and then brings you back. Uh, and then after a while, it'll quit the game. Um, this is like the end of every level in Battletoads. It would always do that. Um, play the play the music, and then it'll let you move around for a couple of seconds, and then it'll it'll take you onto the little um, intro to the next level. All right, I'll show you what I can of the bike now. I think I've turned the death walls off. So that was a checkpoint. Again, the speed is crazy fast. It's way too fast for, for the end game. Yeah, and, and that was the end checkpoint. So, plays the music, you go flying off the screen, the camera stops, um, and then the game exits, which in this case just takes me straight back to the editor. Uh, and again, this, this was the other checkpoint, and when you hit it, it saves the location and uh, lets me move back to there. So I'll show you, I'll show you the death walls. Um, I mentioned a while ago, I still need to 3D model these, because uh, they don't look awesome in 2D. Uh, I think they'd be much nicer in 3D. 
I'll just turn the enemy off. Get on the bike. Yeah, so you hit the bike. Oh, you sorry, the bike hits the wall. The bike crumples up, and then the player flies off the screen. Um, it's all, it all sort of happens a little bit too quick again, so I, I need to slow things down now that I've worked out these performance issues, but... Um, yeah, I think that's a good problem to have. It's much better than it being slow like it was before. Um, so previously, I showed the pigs, um, the e the enemy pigs logic, and I thought it was crazy at that point. Um, I've since done a lot of updating to it to make sure all the attacking and being hit and everything works fine. Um, so it's significantly bigger now. <laughs> And I've also used interfaces, which I'd never used until this point, but um, I found with having multiple enemies and being able to make sure that your enemy has a particular function, um, interfaces are really important. Um, so I've just set up an enemy interface that says it must be able, each enemy has to be able to take a hit, um, has to be able to attack and be attacked uh, and die and um, things like it needs to be able to blink on death, so when they when they get hit they'll they'll blink a few times while laying on the ground just to sort of show the player that you've killed it, but it's not it hasn't just flown off, flown off the screen um yeah, it's 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 gotten pretty nuts, and I think I have to start putting these events, because I've got everything listed as an event, I think I need to start putting these events into functions um, these graphs slow my computer down significantly, especially if they're open while I'm playing a game uh, they also show what's happening as you're playing, which can be really, really useful for debugging issues. Um, but yeah, I think I think I just need to manage these a little bit better, which will which will probably come later. Um, my goal at the moment is just to implement the main features of the game and then move on, and then later on I'll polish things up and make them nice and a bit more reusable. All right, so that's what I'm up to so far. The um, the next things that I want to work on in the game are things such as the double run for the player. So you can we, I can start implementing things like headbutting and super kicking and th and that sort of thing. Um, I'll also be adding actual death for the player. So when he hits the wall, reset him, um, and maybe even do something more with the end of level checkpoint. See if I can sort of polish that up a bit. Um, then I'll I'll start work on the the kangaroos that are in the, the third level. Um, I'm not sure their actual name, but I'll work on that enemy. Hopefully I can just re-implement a lot of the, the same functions that I've got for the pig, um, but I imagine there'll be a fair bit of work involved in that. Um, yeah, so, so that'll be next. I'll make another progress video when I've done at least that much. Alright, thanks for watching.